Miss White, I believe. Oh, hello, Tony. Going my way? Maybe. What's the percentage? Interesting company guaranteed. It never fails. When Stoney meets a gal, we meet trouble. Grand the contract instead of him. Well, aren't you going to say anything? About what? All the excitement. What? I didn't know there was any in this town. Well, then I guess you haven't heard the news. Oh, you mean about Ned? I'm way ahead of you. The finance company has probably repossessed our plane by now. I guess we'll be leaving Oro Grande soon. You've got another guest coming. You haven't lost your plane. You've taken on three new partners. And we're going to get a big new transport. Really? Yeah. Of course I'm pleased with the Mesquiteers' offer. I've prayed for the chance to fly a decent ship and make a decent living again. But it's no use, sis. I'll have to pass it up. Oh, Ned. Can't you forget the past? I have, but it won't forget me. But the jury cleared you. You even got your pilot's license back. Sure. After I served a year in prison. And you're going to give up without even trying. Look, honey, if I thought I could get away with this Hoyt masquerade just long enough to put that airline but you over... you can get away with it. It's your one chance to come back. Okay, sis. They can't kill you for trying. D-141 calling Summit Airport. D-141 calling Summit Airport. D-141 calling Summit Airport. Joe, that's the new pilot. Receiving. Go ahead, D-141. Be with you in two minutes. How's the field? Smooth and dry, but keep to the center. Avoid the stubble on the south edge. Oh, it's really here at last. Miss Beth, I've been trying to work up enough courage to ask you something for a long time. Yes? Uh, what is it, Joe? Well, I'd like the job as co-pilot when Ned starts flying the Oro Grande contract. But you haven't flown for six years. You told me you lost your nerve after that crack-up. Well, I'd get it back if I had a real plane to fly. Oh, I know how you feel, Joe, but there's really nothing I can do about it. It's up to Ned and the Mesquiteers. Well, you could talk to them. They'd listen to you. After all, I've worked pretty hard around here, too. Oh, Joe, I appreciate that, but I can't promise anything. Oh, but couldn't you just try to... Oh, there's the transport. I've got to go. Vincent, of all people. Oh, Bob, <laughs> what are you doing here? Where's Ned? Whoa, not so fast. Well, gosh, it's good to see you. Oh, it's good to see you, too, but wait till I tell you what's been happening. Oh, and just think, we're all part owners oh, in her. Oh, let's pick her up in that. Oh, oh you just, just wait till go up. So, to make a long story short, we took your advice. We changed our name to Hoyt, and everything's going fine. Well, good for you. I'm glad to see you kids get a decent break for a change. But say, who's going to help them fly this baby? Oh, well, we haven't arranged for a co-pilot yet. Well, what's the matter with me? I can use the job. Why, we couldn't find a better man. How are you, Hoyt? Fine, thanks. Oh, Mr. Harmon of the Oro Grande Company, Mr. Whitney. How do you do, sir? How do you do? And Mr. Mullins. How do you do? Mr. Mullins? You'll be needing a co-pilot, Ned. How about it? Would you take the job? Would I take it? Then you're as good as working right now. Oh, swell. Remember, what do you know about flying? Well, I'm dressed for it, ain't I? Yeah, and you sure look silly if you ask me. Nobody ask you. <laughs> Say, Elmer, did you ever fly incognito? Incognito. ground? Why, shame on you. I thought you weren't afraid of anything. You told me you flew to Little America with Admiral Byrd. Did you? Well, are you sure? We all heard you. Lullaby, you want to be careful of them things. 
It's Paul. I think it's time you and I had some serious conversation. That's no lie. Why, you said that like you had the weight of the world on your shoulder. Maybe I have. Stoney, it's something I've got to tell you. Something I should have told you a long time ago. Come on, you next. Look. Somebody jumped out. There's another one. No, please. Count three and pull that ring. <laughs> Head back to the airport. I'll see what it's all about. Yes, it's true. Our real name is Vincent. We changed it to Hoyt because... You knew we wouldn't trust our gold in the hands of a criminal? Ned isn't a criminal. He was cleared. Why did you try to keep his record a secret then? Because I told her to. You mean you knew about Hoyt? Certainly. The plane was registered under the name of Vincent, otherwise he couldn't have got his pilot's license. Then why didn't you tell us? I saw no need to, as long as he was performing his work satisfactorily. He did all right. He killed his co-pilot, Forced the passengers out and got away with $100,000 in gold. Sure, I can just picture it. He shoots Whitney, holds up the passengers, puts parachutes on them, and shoves them out with one hand all the time he's flying with the other. And I suppose those passengers dreamed that story about gunmen. Stoney, since you took it on yourself to back Hoyt, I'll have to hold you responsible. I'll give you just 24 hours to make this loss good. Okay, if that's the way you feel about it. Just a minute, Stoney. Or does couldn't. I didn't know myself. Well, then why drag us into it? Because I couldn't let Beth take quiet. Here she comes. Stoney, I want to thank you for defending Ned. I wish you'd have told me before, Beth. Well, Ned wanted to, but I talked him out of it. I was afraid he would spoil his chance. And then that day on the trail, I, I tried to explain, but... Never mind. You run along and try not to worry. We've got a plan all figured out. Thanks, Tony. Brother, you sure can pick them. Well, it's beyond me how a girl like Beth can have a brother that gets so tangled up. He don't fool. Joe! Well, what happened? Bandits. Well, when did it happen? Oh, about an hour ago. I'm going after the sheriff. Well, why don't you telephone? Hello? Hello, give me the sheriff's office. Sheriff Mason talking. Hello, this is Beth Hoyt speaking. We've just had a robbery. Yes, I'm at the airport. No, I just came in and found... Hello? Hello? Hello! Operator, I've been cut off. Waddell rushed out and locked me in. Then he must have cut the wire when you phoned me. Wasn't that Waddell just rode out of town with Mullen's outfit? By gosh, it was. They were heading for Snake Trail. I don't like the looks of this. Let's ride out that way and see what they're up to. You got everything? We'll hop into St. Louis, sign a merger with International Airways, and be back before you know it. They'll find a clause in that contract that says they can't take you away from Ora Grande. And that goes for you, too. Try to keep me away. If we need any more aviators, tell them about me and Wrong Way Corrigan. <laughs> okay, all right. Come on, let's go. Good luck, Ned. <laughs> 